Closer to home, several local counties are under a state of emergency, among them Columbia County. Emergency crews will start giving sandbags out there to residents early this morning. Much needed resource. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy is live at the Public Works facility this morning. Jennifer, residents can start to pick up sandbags later this morning, and yesterday they also were out. That's exactly right. They will be able to start picking up sandbags around 7 o'clock this morning here at the Public Works facility on Quinton Road. Right now the facility is closed, but these signs are lining the streets leading up to the facility, telling people exactly where they need to go to get their sandbags. Here in the county, they are also opening several shelters for people to go to. This is video of cots being set up at a shelter in Columbia County on Tuesday as they prepare for the impact of Hurricane Michael. Shelters are open at three centers, South Columbia Fort White Community Center, the West Side Community Center, and Winfield Community Center and Recreation Area. Evacuees are encouraged to bring a hurricane supply kit, including water, batteries, and flashlights. Although the county is further inland, Columbia County Emergency Management says they're under a state of emergency. Concerns are high wind and falling trees. Some residents say parts of the county are prone to flooding. Just going to Keep the sandbags around the doors, keep all the water from coming in. The county will be distributing sandbags for residents and business owners at the Columbia County Public Works facility starting at 7 this morning. There is a limit of 15 bags per car. And because the worst of the storm is expected today and tomorrow, county offices as well as schools are closed today and Thursday. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station. Jennifer, thank you so much. Now, here in Bradford County, they are also gearing up, putting out sandbags. People can come out and stock up on supplies there. We talk with some of them, and they say they are taking these extra steps, but they're not too, too worried about the effects of the storm. Not one bit of worry on the flooding this year. Emergency management has been awesome with our lake levels, cleaning everything out from here all the way down to the county line. And and since Irma, the county has cleaned up about 3,000 pounds of debris in the Sampson River and Alligator Creek. The emergency manager director says that he is still preparing, though, for the worst, which they just have to do.